In this tutorial, I will show you how to run Origin on Mac OS using virtualization software. You will also see how to share a folder between Mac and Windows. You will also learn how to place an Origin shortcut on the Mac dock for easy access. And finally, how to export a graph to the shared folder for future use on Mac. Let's begin by looking at the requirements to install Origin on a Mac computer. You will first need an Intel-based Mac, virtualization software, a virtual computer system requirements, and the Origin or Origin Pro software. To install the virtualization software, for detailed instructions, you want to visit the virtualization software vendor website. Once it's installed, you want to create a new virtual computer and install Windows on the virtual computer. When Windows is ready, you can install Origin. We're now looking at some experimental data files. Let me go ahead and create a new folder in Documents. This will become a shared folder to share files between Windows and Mac. I'm now going to copy and paste my data files to this shared folder. I click the Copy 12 Items, I go to the shared folder and paste these items. I now go to the Parallels desktop I click to launch the Parallels desktop Windows 7 starts I then click on Virtual Machine once the software, once Windows starts up. I select Virtual Machine Configure to make my shared folder accessible from both Mac and Windows. I now select the shared folder. I'm now going to install Origin, which would be just like installing any other Windows software. Origin's already been installed, so I can click on the Start button and choose the shortcut. Origin will launch. The shortcut's been added to the dock. I'm going to right click, click on Keep in Dock so that next time the Origin icon will be available directly from the Mac dock.
I'm now going to go back to origin here and import one of those files in my shared folder. Click on the import ASCII button. Browse to my shared folder. Locate the file. and the data will be imported. I'm now going to highlight the entire worksheet and create a scatter graph by clicking the scatter button. I now have a grouped data plot. Let's go ahead and click on File Save Project As we're going to save this project to Origins User Files folder. It defaults to the User Files folder. Give it some name. I'm going to go ahead and close Origin, shut down Windows, and close the Parallels desktop. Click the Shut Down button. We're logging off of Windows. Now I'm going to go ahead and relaunch Origin, this time clicking on the icon on the Mac dock. It first has to start the Parallels desktop, start Windows, and then launch Origin. See the Parallels desktop is running and the Origin software is being launched. Once it comes up here, we're going to click on the File menu. Or we can actually click the Open button here. We're going to open up the saved OPJ file. It was in our User Files folder. We're going to go ahead and open that up. And what I'm going to do is export this graph now as a TIFF file. File Export Graph. In the dialog that opens, change the file type, the image type there, to TIFF. and we're going to modify the path to be the path to that shared folder. So we're going to export the file to that shared folder that's available to us both from Mac and Windows. In Origins message log, we have a little message there letting us know the graph was exported. It gives the full path and file name. We're going to go ahead and close Origin. And now we see in that shared folder we have graph1.tiff. We can double click on it and view the image. Now we can go ahead and launch Word on the Mac and then insert that graph into Word. We choose the Insert menu. Insert picture from file. We will then browse again to our shared folder, locate graph1.tiff.
and we will see our graph in the Word document. This concludes this tutorial. Thank you for watching.